cost prohibitive. But like everything, like DVDs, like, um, uh, I'm trying to think, TVs, you know, flat screen TVs and things, they were a fortune when they came out and now they're affordable to everybody. Well, do you know what? You don't have to vacuum anymore. This is a wicked price. It's a wicked bit of kit for your home. And once you've had Roomba, you will never, ever, ever be without it. Right, Sue's going to talk you through this little clip of video. Actually, this was the previous Roomba model, so not even as good as this. But Sue will talk you through what's happening. Sue, tell us. So power on. And what we are telling on this one is we want you to go and vacuum. So what he does, he actually starts going round in concentric circles. So you turn him on and let him get on with it. Now the circles will get bigger and bigger until he hits something. Now that could be the edge of the room, a wall, could be a staircase, or in this case, a table leg. And then what he's going to do, he's going to work round the table leg. He's plotting the room around. He's working out where he's got to go and what he's got to do. He's using a system of algorithms. Algorithms are a mathematical problem-saving equation. Now, if there's a clearance of four inches, he will actually go underneath the um, works. I'm uh, sorry, cupboard. Sue, approaching a fifth of stock has already gone. Well, I'm not surprised. You're meant it's to be here with consumer tomorrow. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm going to be, does a it? A fifth of the stock has gone almost, folks. Sorry, Sue, go on, explain what he's so doing. So what he's doing now is going round, but he's actually plotting. You might think he's random, but it isn't. He's working out where he's got to go, what he's got to do. Rumba will not get stuck. He will get into a situation, and if he like it's too narrow for him to move yeah. on or anywhere, he will turn himself round and come back out again. He will go right up to so the edge. So does he not get jammed up with the fringing well, of the rug? What I would recommend is that you put the fringing underneath, right. to be quite honest with you. So just be careful of that sort of thing. Now look, tops of stairs. So you've left him out. <gasps> you've, you've, I thought it was going to fall over the edge. But no, because it's rumba. He's very clever. He's got lots of eyes. He's got one ear. So what if he's going backwards? It, he'll turn round. He won't go backwards. He's got what? How many eyes? He's got lots of eyes. He's got one ear. He's got three good feet. <laughs> he's going to give you complete satisfaction. <laughs> we like that. Okay. You love Rumba. He's going to do the job for you. Yeah. Right. What I want to do is I want to show you exactly how he works and what he does. You're going to have to be quick. We are running out of stock, folks. Go on. Okay. Rumba. He's rechargeable. So I'm just going to flip him over, right? And you'll see the battery on the back here. Now that comes out, but you actually put the charger in, a bit like a telephone charger, right. you know, one of those like mobile ones. There we have the flippy brush. This is magnificent. This gets into the corners and this will spin as we're going round here. We have three independent wheels. We've got one here. One on the other side, but notice how they run independently. So he can go over a rug or things like that. And there's the third wheel. Okay. We've got a guided Why brush. Why are they like that then? Because they can go under over an even ground or anything like that. So if you're going from a hard floor to a carpet to a rug or something like that. It's like suspension, that, isn't it? It is. It's suspended. It's fantastic, isn't it? We've got two rollers. Now, we've got a brush roller here that's going to groom your carpets and sweep your floors. Do you know, I had a friend's mum. My friend's mum used to rake her carpet. Well... She's got a long pile, probably. Yeah, so. And that's what that will do. Okay. That's going to look at, that's going to groom your carpet. That's going to pick up all the pet hairs and yep. the bits of dust. Now, you know, like them rubber brooms that are really good. Yeah. Hard work. Hard work. But they're good. Blinking hard work. What we've got is like a rubber broom here. This is going to do a deep down cleaning for you. Right. Again, it's going to pull up all the nasties out of here. This is my favourite. This is the squidgy vacuum. Squidgy vacuum, do you like that? No, I do, I love it. We've got, that's, it's got two bits to it. Right, what that, it's got two little flaps here, but that's going to go into like, if you've got something like um, a tiled floor. So, so you can do tiled floor? Of course you can. That's going to get in between there, and to do the grouting, it's going to pick all the dust and the dirt up between the grouting as well. Right, let's flip him over and just show you what you do. You put power on. Yeah. He's going to tell you that he wants to go, he wants to go and play, okay? You then decide what you want to do. You might want to move your cup, actually. Okay, I'll pick the cup. <laughs> right. 97% of the time, you're going to use the middle button, the clean button. Yeah. Now, what he's going to do, he's going to start off in concentric circles. Let's just put him in the middle. He's going to start going off. He's going to plot out. Now, I've got him on a glass table, right? He doesn't fall off, look, so you can look underneath and see what he's up to. His magic eye is working out to where the edge is. So if that was the top of the staircase, if that was your back door yeah. on, the back, on the back step, he's not going to go wandering off. He's not going to come home if you've left him upstairs and come home to a little pile of mess at the bottom yeah. of the stairs. <laughs> he's going to work out where the edges are. It has a bumper on the side here. 
How many times have you rammed your vacuum cleaner <laughs> up the skirting board yeah. trying to get it up to the edges? And you get all those black spots. Rumba is much more delicate than that. Now, Here obviously, people might think, oh, it's a bit noisy. It's only because it's on a glass table. You imagine your vacuum on a glass table. Well, I've actually missed telephone calls with an ordinary vacuum because they're so noisy. Yeah. But with Rumba, switch him on, go to bed. Yeah. He's very quiet. If you dance, he's it's downstairs. because he's on a glass table Absolutely. right now. But he's not going to fall off that edge. How clever, how fantastic he think. Now, what I'm actually going to do is, when he comes back to me, I'm going to upset him. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm going to pick him up. The minute I pick him up, he stops. He says, hello. He's going, what, what, are you, hello. what, what, what are you stop me for? Right. If you come back to the room and that orange light is on, it means he's been interrupted yeah. So maybe a child has gone into the room and messed about. Maybe the dog's gone and knocked it about or something. But what he's done is he's upset. You know, he's up, you've upset the program. Yeah. He doesn't mind. But what he's telling you is you're going to say, well, actually, there's still bits on the floor. That's because somebody stopped him. Right. He might have got stuck. You know, maybe. Um, because it's interesting. Or his batteries run out. Yeah. It's interesting because what the first thing, because my producer and I are both very, very impatient people. Would you agree with that? <laughs> yes. See how she laughed there? Yes. She knows my producer and she knows me yes. really well. Because I said to Sue, look, I vacuum every day. OK, I know you might think, oh, you sad. I was going to say C-O-W then, but yeah, you sad cow. Um, uh, I do vacuum every day. Um, so do I. We've got dogs. You know, I, it's... <laughs> My director has just said, I think it is a bit mental, vacuuming every day. No, but actually, I, I do vacuum every day. I'm very house proud. But it is back-breaking work. And my kids would actually say, do you know what, Daddy? Buy Mummy a Roomba because it will set her Because I do, just do the vacuuming and then we'll go out. But then, you know, if you're getting Roomba to do it, you can... Spend time. You can sit with the kids doing their homework. Yeah. You can be doing your crafting. Yeah. You could be doing your ironing. You could be at work. Yeah. You could be anywhere else because you're not with him. You don't Do you need have to be... be there when he's vacuuming? Not at all. So there's nothing you, nothing to go wrong or anything. You just go around. If he gets upset for some reason or another, he'll stop. He'll stop. Yeah. So whether somebody's gone into the room and stopped him, yeah. whether he's got stuck yeah. or whether his battery has run out, what he's doing is telling you, I haven't finished the job. Yeah. Don't tell me off. Somebody stopped me. OK, now some people might say, well, I've got a dining room, I've got a lounge downstairs and I've got a kitchen. So okay. three rooms downstairs. How, when I go out, do I determine that uh, Roomba is actually going to go in all three right. rooms? What I would really like you to do is a room at a time. Right. OK, that way you know he's going to do a really thorough job. OK. But maybe you've got... Uh, so what you do, switch him on and you press the clean button. OK. Shut the door. Leave him in there. You know he's going to do a good job. Right. Maybe you've got a really big room, or yep. maybe you want to do a connecting room, yep. OK? Then what you do is you put him onto Max. Ah, oh, now, hold on, so just remember where you are. A third of the stock's gone. Uh, no, we've fibbed, actually. 40% of the stock has gone. Uh, that's how busy we are on the phones. Um, Phone, it's, right. it's a, Normally, it's the second half of the hour that's the busiest, and we oh, are yes. running out of stock. Um, so if you want to go into all the different right. rooms... If you only want to do... What I'd like you to do... For your example, your lounge or your dining room, something like that. Put him in there, switch him on, shut the door. Mm. And what you do is you press the clean button. If you want him to do a, a lounge dining room yep. or a kitchen breakfast room or something like that, put him on to max. Okay. Now, the difference is when you press the clean button, he plots the room out yep. and he will just do that room. Right. And then stop because he can't get out the door shut. Yeah, of course. If you've got a bigger room... He will go until his battery is depleted. Oh, so he just so keeps going? He'll just keep going and going and going. Whereas with this one, he will stop when he's done the job. OK, now what... So, I mean, I've actually s heard earlier on, someone said to me um, that their friend's got two of these and they have one going all the time every day upstairs and one going down downstairs. Right. You might want to do that. But Sue said something very clever to me, because uh, she is very clever. I said, does Roomba go upstairs? She goes, of course he does. You, you pick him up you and pick carry him up. You pick him up and you take him up upstairs and you put because them out there. how light is that? Yeah. You, you can catch... How many people have a vacuum upstairs and a vacuum downstairs? Because they're so heavy. You don't do, I'll tell you who's got two of these. Who? Paul Bradell. Two rumbers. So he's got two rumbers. What, one upstairs, one downstairs? I don't know what he's got, where he's got them, but I know he's got two because he... Uh, he bought them from me. See? A long time ago. I was at an exhibition a very long time ago when he bought them from me there. Uh, and how much were they then? I, I seem to remember them with like four, four, nine. Well, the... <clears throat> You were looking about maybe three hundred pounds yeah. plus, to be quite honest with you. 
other brands, as I said to you earlier on, some, some vacuum cleaner companies have had a go at robotics. And because they're not experienced in that, that makes their vacuum cleaners very, very expensive. What iRobot have done are a robotics company that have come from the other direction. We've sort of met in the middle, if you like. And that's why this is so that's much... That's why it works. Because they've already got the but, robotics you know, side I of it. I was actually looking in the department stores. I went online earlier right. on today. I couldn't believe how much they are. They're very expensive. Yeah. Aren't they? Absolutely. Shocked me. Well, they almost are. Well, ten, that's why. ten times. Uh, absolutely. Okay. So, we've interrupted him. Because Sorry. Shall we set him off again? Well, shall we set him off? What I'm going to do. I've is had a cup of coffee. It's been a lovely show. Do you know? I'm so relaxed. <laughs> well, okay. that's the thing about vacuuming. It yeah. is relaxing. Well, normally, you and I are doing a show and we, we work I'll our guts out. She, <laughs> starts goes, falling she goes to me, oh, whenever I do a show with you, Elle, she says, I can, don't you? <laughs> she says, I go, I'm absolutely <laughs> cream crackered. I am the manic housewife. Oh, I've been told, set him off. Go right, on, set okay. him off. Right, because we've interrupted him, all I'm going to do is press off the clean again now. And what he's going to do is going to set off, right? He will not fall over the edge. Now, should we have some dirt? What he'll actually do is when he senses some dirt... In fact, what we use it? I might put him on the floor, I think. Oh, you know, I'll tell you what. It's you a magic thing, isn't it? <laughs> I use incredible. <laughs> you crafters out there, I'm going to save you some money now, right? How many times have you spilt something on the floor Look. And you've had to vacuum it up. Now, just pretend that this is a floor, right? What we're going to do is I want you to keep your eye on Rumba. On the top of Rumba, there is a blue light. The blue light comes on when he senses extra dirt. Yeah. Now, he senses extra dirt because he's got a, a sensor that hears the dirt. Right? See, look, he's come back for it. You might have thought he left it. The blue light's on. OK. He will pick it up. You might think he's left a bit, but he will come back to he it. He comes back. He's so intelligent. I told you this was wicked. But he knows. See... Watch him. He'll come back. Did you see the blue light? Yeah, I did. OK. The blue light is when he senses dirt. He has an ear. And when he senses <laughs> dirt, <laughs> he'll concentrate on that area. I want him. <laughs> he's lovely, isn't he? Right. So now he's finding those beads again. Now, normally you would yeah, have blue a blue light on. That was the, the blue light's on because he's sensing. So what he'll do is he'll concentrate on that area. Yeah, he has. He hasn't gone along the table. He's very clever. His big brother is used in military zones. His big brother is used in space. His big brother is used out in agricultural systems. This is the domestic version. Yeah. Now, you might think he's flicking the stuff about. He will come back to it. Normally, there would be a wall there. You're not normally going to put him on a tabletop. We put him on a tabletop to show you how good, how well he works. Look, I have to tell you, I'm going to just pick him up. Pick him up, he stops. He goes, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Mum! Mum! <laughs> Mum! <laughs> I need to get going again. <laughs> he doesn't tap you like Clara. She does this all the time. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, he doesn't do that. He just goes beep boop. Now, right. If you're a crafter, yeah, and if you spilt all your bugle beads all over the bugle, I can't say it. The bugle bead. Thank you. If you've <laughs> dropped them all over the floor, <laughs> all you have to do is look. Watch. Them. Look. 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 See, it did pick them all up. Look. Here they all are. Look. There you go. Told you. Do you know what? We we, we've got him. some dust that's picked them up. The well, I tell you. Well. Listen. I don't even listen to me. What we're going to do? We're going to we're going to get Sue to actually talk you through his rumba, and that's actually the previous model, which isn't even as good as this one. Um, working. Go on then. Right. They've told um, um, rumba where he's got to do and what he's got to do. So he's in the lounge now. So we set him going. And off he goes. He'll start off doing concentric circles. He'll keep doing those concentric circles until he hits an obstacle. Once he hits an obstacle, whether it's a wall, whether it's a staircase or whatever, he will then go around and plotting the room. He uses a system of algorithms. Algorithms are a mathematical problem-saving equation. So he's going to um, work around the room. Now, what he's going to do is, if it's got a clearance of four inches or more, he will go underneath it. But you've got that little whippy, flippy brush that's going to go right up to the edges. He's going to go along the skirting every time he cleans. He can go from a hard floor onto a carpet. That's not a problem for him. He can go from a carpet to a hard floor. You might think he's stuck, but Rumba isn't stuck. He will sense his way out of there. Look at him, see? Couldn't get through there, so he's turning round and coming back again. You might think he's missed a bit. 
he will come back and do it. You have to turn him on. You have to walk away. That's the biggest problem you've got. My piece of advice to you, if you've got fringing or wires, just tuck them out of the way. No vacuum likes fringing. No vacuum likes wires. Top of the stairs, not a problem. He will not throw himself off. He's not a lemming. You won't find him down the garden if you've left the back door open. He will sense the edge. He is clever. He has eyes. He has an ear. He has three fantastic feet. Look at that, underneath the bed. Goodness knows what he'll find underneath there. Well, I'll tell you what, you turn him on and you walk away. 126658 is your item number. I have got a stock update for you, folks. I told you it was fantastic. Half the stock's gone. Um, now, it is a wicked price. You've been checking out those prices. Congratulations. You have got a £20 saving. Even at £200, it's worth its weight in gold. Why? Well, at the £129.99, it is going to get into places that you simply don't get into with a normal vacuum. Now, with a normal vacuum, you actually only clean approximately, now, even a manic housewife like me, about 75% of the room, okay? With Roomba, you clean nearly 99% of the room. Now, what we're going to do is give you the details. We've got all these information about it, so you can see some of the features. Let's take a look at those. Now, Roomba actually uses an aware system, iRobot's unique robot intelligence system, which actually will navigate uh, the Roomba around your room room, ensuring that your entire floor gets clean. Roomba actually detects dirty areas and keeps cleaning until the dirt is gone. There's no bags to replace. The bagless bin is easy to empty. You use the maximum mode to clean multiple rooms, as Sue was saying, in a single cleaning cycle. All you have to do is leave the doors open and Roomba will actually clean and it will until it actually exhausts its battery. Uh, Roomba has a spinning side brush um, and a wall-following technique technology that allows it to grab the dirt and debris from the wall edges and, and sort of other hard to reach areas. It's got a powerful battery and uh, an amazing charging system that actually allows the robot to clean approximately three medium size rooms with one charge. Now the initial charge is 12 hours and subsequent charge is around about seven hours but you can actually use it, you know like an electric toothbrush, you can just leave it on charge. Uh, not only that, it will uh, clean up to 75 minutes on a full charge which um, I was actually um, <laughs> told no, it was not an hour and a half it was an hour and a quarter stupid me you see that's that trick question isn't it uh, Roomba's powerful vacuum and counter rotating brushes reach deep into your carpet to remove the dirt dust and pet hair now even items that uh, can choke many vacuums like stray uh, game pieces or or safety pins or crafting objects uh, they're actually absolutely no problem for Roomba now you've also got a clean program so Roomba will actually sense the room size and will actually stop when it's finished. You can spot clean as well with Roomba because it will concentrate on, for example, a spill on the carpet. It's got a stasis stent, a stenter, a stasis sensor uh, and Roomba knows when it's stuck so a sophisticated program will actually allow it to escape. You've got easy clean brush assembly, simply release two plastic clips to allow removal of the entire brush assembly. It's got a clean air system as well so the air is filtered before going through the motor. You also get two spare filters provided. Now, the benefits of this are amazing. It works great on carpets and hard floor. It automatically will adjust to wood, tile, laminate floors, uh, flagstone floors or carpet. It will clean against the edges and it actually gets into all those hard to reach places. It's not going to fall down the stairs. It works great on pet hair and it will even vacuum under your bed and sofas every time it cleans. And it will even detect the dirtiest area and stay there until the dirt is gone now what we're gonna I've, I've got a little bit of a I want to show you this actually Sue, what's that okay how many times do you get threads you can sit here darling is he gonna take me yeah of course you are. <laughs> right how many times do you get threads and cottons and things caught um, up in there I get loads of those on okay my what we've actually got is there's a little blade in here that will actually cut through. Oh, how clever. Right. All this comes undone. Yeah. You can clip all this out. All the rollers come out. Everything comes out for easy cleaning. It's amazing, isn't it's it? It's not difficult. You can't put them back in the wrong position either. So you've got the little grooming thing there as well. You can clean all the brushes. So we've even thought of everything. What I've done is we've come upstairs. That's why I need some oxygen. <laughs> I've <come> upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, 
I didn't have to carry a great big heavy vacuum with me. I didn't yeah. have wires to run in everywhere. Yeah. I wasn't chipping my paintwork. Yeah. It was just a case of me running up the stairs with rumber in my yeah. hands. What I wanted to show you is that I've emptied, as I've gone from one room through another, yeah. I just empty the container. Yeah. Because I'm vacuuming frequently, right. I don't have a lot of dirt. No. Because you know why I can vacuum frequently? Because I'm not doing You're it. You're not doing it. <laughs> And it's not hard work. It's so easy. Um, you literally, when you're going out, of, you don't. You can do it obviously when you're uh, at home. But as you leave the house, if you're going to take the kids to school, if you're going to do the shopping, you know what? My sister always says, "I come home on a Friday night, Elle. I then go out and do the food shopping. On Saturday, I'm cleaning all day, and then I do the ironing." Well, do you know what? Deb? And that's Get the yourself, weekend gone. That's the weekend gone. Get yourself a rumba. When you go to work in the morning, put your rumba on. Have time for the things that matter to Important. you. The thing, like your children, yeah. like your husband, like your pets, like your crafting, like your... Maybe you want to do your ironing. You can do your ironing and your vacuuming at the same time. Yeah. When have you been able to do that? It's so last century vacuuming, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Explain, because if you've just joined us, Sue actually really explained this well. I said, but why would I want uh, a robotic vacuum cleaner? What if it leaves a little bit? You know, I watch it and it leaves. She said... Go on, do you tell them. You don't stand at a washing machine and go, you put the you put the load in, you put the powder in, you put the, you know, switch it on, and you go, <laughs> it hasn't got that mark out yet. It's true, isn't it? Still not got that mark. You know what that it'll do dishwasher? it. What the dishwasher? What do you do in the what, dishwasher? Well, the dishwasher, you load all the dishes, you put the stuff in there, whatever, you switch it on. You don't go out back every three minutes going, still not done it. <laughs> you turn it on, you walk away. And that's what you do with rumba. It has got one problem. The t first two, three, four times you're going to use it, you are going to watch it. Yeah, you will. Just fascination because you're interested. But then you'll get used to it. Like your washing machine, probably when you had a first, yeah. your first had your washing machine, you sat and watched I it. I can remember the first time we got colour telly for Princess Anne's wedding. That's just where we are. Did you get it as well? Same, mate. Eh, like, except you've worn a lot better than me. Right. Let me show you what you do, how you set. So we've carried him upstairs. Did, and so did my producer director. <laughs> We all got that coloured. It was fabulous. I remember thinking, oh, my gosh, look at the changing of the guards' outfit, the red outfits. They were... Well, I always... When my mum was little, she wore... Everything was in grey. <laughs> and she's had a red dress. Look at that. It wouldn't have been red. It would have been grey. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, come on. Let's do some Power floors. on. Yep. Put him down look in the... this. Put him in the middle of the floor. That's where you want to do The biggest open space that you have. Now I've got to tell him what I want him to do. I want him to clean this room. 97% of the time, what you'll do is you'll press the clean button. Now, you press that with your finger. Could you do it with your foot? Of course you could. Okay. Right? So what if you have limited do... mobility, sorry, Sue, you, um, or limited <gasps> dexterity... Anybody if... has difficulty yeah. vacuuming can do this. What he's actually going to do, he's going to start going round the room in concentric circles. Look, if you actually see, if you look down on that, I don't know if our lovely cameraman can do that, if you looked actually directly down, you can see him going round in circles. You see where he's been. Then what he's going to do, he's going to plop the room. Yeah. Where's he gone? Under the bed. When was the last time you vacuumed underneath there? Do you remember when you pull out those beds and you get all the fluff? Dust bunnies. I hate dust bunnies. People have hard floors because they think they're easy to clean. Hard floors are a nightmare. Rumba loves hard floors. Rumba loves rugs. Rumba loves carpets. Rumbo's going to do all the work for you. He's going to cause them in the curtain. Well, we shouldn't have the curtain <laughs> down there, should we? Look, no, let's stop right. him here. Right. If, if, if that he happens... Stuck, what he'll do is he'll stop and he'll bip at you. Um, Ellis is just actually... <laughs> well, these are... So, you know, you don't have they, curtains all right, on the floor, do you? There you go, it's done. It's done. Let's start him again Wires, here. Wires yep. or fringes of carpets or the curtains hanging on the floor. Just lift them or tuck them out the way so Rumba's not going to bother with them. He's going to go round the room. He's going to use a system... I've done spot clean now. Right, what he's going to do now for spot clean, because you just want to concentrate on that rug, he's going to do about a metre area. Right. A metre square. Yeah. So, one of the kids have just dropped a biscuit on the floor. Look, 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 he's cleaning it all up. And you don't want him to do the whole room, you put him on spot clean. Right. So that is for your... I only want you to do that area. Yeah. I vacuumed earlier on, but somebody's dropped the biscuit. But look, it's amazing. It's got nearly all of it up. Look, it's going but back. But see, even though he was going from one surface to another, he'd got one wheel on the hard floor, one wheel on the carpet, but he's still doing the job for you. Yeah. What you're doing, you can see where he's been and where he hasn't and been. And he goes a little bit further each time. Absolutely. He will keep going until he hits an obstruction. Now, what that obstruction is, it could be your... Plant, pot plant, it could be a wall, it could be anything. 
until he hits an obstruction, he will keep going around in bigger circles. OK, well, let's see what he's doing, because you can see that in this clip of video. Explain what's happening, okay. Sue. What we've got here is a load of dirt all over a glass surface, just so you can see what he's doing. He's working his way round. He's sucking up. He's using a system of brushes as well that is actually guiding the dirt into the path of him. You might think he's missed something, but he hasn't. He will go back to it. What he's actually doing initially is plotting out the surface yeah. area. Listen, it is going to sell out, folks. You need to be on the phones. What, three quarters of the entire stock of this has oh, gone. Taxi for one, I think. I'll tell you what. Um, you need to be on the phones. We've still got 13 minutes left on the programme. Um, I don't think it's even going to last that long. That's how busy we are on the phones. Sorry, Sue, okay. to interrupt you. So what he's done is he's gone round until he, he's covered a certain area. Yeah. What you do is you, if you've dropped a biscuit and you don't want him to do the whole room, put him on spot clean. We want him now to go and do the whole room just because we can. Yeah. So put him down on the floor and press the clean button and he will go around looking for dirt. When, now, he's going to hit my foot. Because he hit my foot, it's an obstruction, he's going to plot round. He's found some more dirt. Look, that's when the blue light goes on. He will concentrate on that area when he finds what's... Going from a look, rug... blue, blue, look. ..to a hard floor, he's concentrating on that area because he found some more dirt. Notice how he goes up to the edges of things. His little whippy brush is only on one side, but he will always get... Look, found some more dirt. He's going to concentrate on that area. His little whippy brush will go along the edges of things. We've come to a cliff. It doesn't matter. It could be a staircase. Rumba's going to do the job for you. He's found some more dirt, so he's going to concentrate on that area. You might think he's missed some, but he will come back for it. He's going to cover more of the room than you are doing a conventional. There's nothing conventional about ordinary vacuuming, no, there is there? So this last is, century, darling. Oh, so I do like saying that. If you want to spend a lot more money on an ordinary vacuum money. clean... Money. Right. Money. If you want to spend a lot more money on an ordinary vacuum cleaner and be restricted by a flex, be restricted by a heavy weight, be restricted with your time because you've got to do it, then don't ring now. If you want freedom, yeah. if you want something that's really lightweight but that will do the job really well for you, if you want it at a really silly price, you better get on the phone before we start running out. I'll tell you what, you are going to have to be on the phones because we are running out of stock. It is a premiere. You've got an introductory price, 129.99. One two six six five eight is your item number, ladies and gentlemen. You need to be using the in fast, uh, in fast, in first number well, fast. Well, in fast. Yeah. Yes, because uh, we, we are going to run out. We are going to sell out of this. It is that busy on the phones. We um, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, hundreds of you have gone for this right now. 129.99. Silly price. One two six six five eight. But what we want to show you is the comparison between an ordinary vacuum cleaner and Roomba because an ordinary vacuum cleaner will only clean approximately 75%. And you've got to do it. What you're doing is you're going around the home pushing quite a heavy item but you're not going to go underneath the sofa, not every time. You might do that once in a while but Roomba will do it every time. You're not going to go right up to the edges of the, the legs of the table because you're going to bash them. You're not going to go right up to the skirting because the vacuum cleaner can't get that far. And if you do get up against the door jam, you've probably got black marks on there from the bumpers of the vacuum cleaner. A lot of effort, if you ask me. I'll tell you what, it, it, I'm just listening to, the, to how many of you are on the phone right now. It is literally uh, flying. It is going to sell out. 80% of our entire stock of this has gone. It is a wicked price. It's $129.99. You saw a normal vacuum, OK? Approximately three quarters of the entire room. Let's see Roomba in action in the very same room. This is speeded up. Obviously, it's not going to go that, but it's going right underneath the sofa. You might think this is random, but it isn't random. Rumba is plotting out that room. He comes from a military background. He comes from space technology. He knows what he's doing. He's going to go right up to the edges of the walls, going to go right up to the legs of the table. He's going right underneath the sofa every time. That's the point of Rumba. He's doing a more thorough job than you every time you use him. He's doing the work, not... I'll sure. tell you what, not you. And that's what we love. It's limited stock, folks. What a lovely gift. You're meant to be a consumer tomorrow. Uh, what a lovely gift. Wedding gift. Wedding gift. Fantastic. Do you know what? If one of your um, friends at work is getting married, you know you have that 
whip around. Oh, what a lovely idea. What a nice idea because you're setting her free. Now, if you do have limited dexterity, maybe you are uh, have limited mobility and, you know, you don't want to rely on someone else to always come in and do the vacuuming for you. Maybe you've got a bungalow. Maybe you've got an elderly relative. They can still have pride in their home and they haven't got to do the vacuuming. Or maybe you hate vacuuming. It is so last century. You can switch it on, go to work, go to take the kids to school and come back and your, do you know what? Your other half is going to think, oh, she's keeping this house fabulous. Well, it's Roomba. And r why not? You've got a washing machine. You've got a dishwasher. Why don't you use rim, uh, Roomba? We, um, we are, we're almost gone. 49 minutes into the show. We're limited stock. Uh, it's the first airing of this. It is a premiere, but it is, um, it's a runaway success. It is a runaway success. With Roomba, it's a controlled runaway, though, because he will do the job. Can I just show you the very fine particles? That's the dust that we've just picked up off the floor earlier yeah. on. This is the really fine dust. You know all that really horrible stuff that most vacuum cleaners leave behind? That is actually picked up on there. But this really, really fine stuff, stuff that you wouldn't think Roomba would pick up, the filter there is getting really, really tiny bits of fluff there. I love that. That's what impresses me about it. I d you d wouldn't think that something no. like this. I said that small. to you, didn't I? Yeah. That, and we, we had a look at this before the show. And when Sue showed me that, that's what sold it to me. Absolutely. And under, well, under your son's bed. How much fluff's <laughs> underneath there? How much mould is under there from the cheese, the, the sandwich. cheese sandwiches and the, and the apples, the, the apple cores that they've slung under there? But everything is Why so Why is it easy. only boys? Because Jed does Oh, I that. don't know. My well, my daughters don't, but Jed pushes things behind See, my, my cupboard. Do my daughter, every now and again, she goes, I'm going on a treasure hunt. And I go, a treasure hunt? She goes, under my bed. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Listen, I do have to tell you, if you are online, hello, and you've turned Sue and I's volume down, because we are rather loud, um, hello, I wave to you. You need to check out of your basket, because if you don't check out, you're going to miss out. Um, it is about to go. If you don't check out, you're going to miss out. Quickly, use that, uh, unless you're on the phones, it's gone, sold out. 51 minutes on its first airing, gone and sold out. I do apologise, it has gone and sold out. Right. Okay. Um, you mean we can sit back? No. Drink our coffee. Come on. We've got um, we've got another product for you. Come on, let's have a look at this I next. Love I know this you love one. this. Now, come on, Sue. Now, this was new this week. Sue, this is a little bit incredible, isn't it? Uh, only a little bit incredible. What are you on about? Well, a little bit. This I've, is massively incredible. You know, I've heard about this, but I don't really know all that it does. Okay. I don't know if you know, right? How popular the quick wash is. Uh oh. The Bissell quick wash will look after your carpets for you. Yeah. Every time they come on, they fly out. Yeah. Well, it's brilliant. Huge machine. I've got it. It's fantastic. Yeah. They're lightweight. They're fantastic. But you know what? You know, sometimes when you vacuum clean, you, you, know, you just think, oh, I only need to get up that, you know, that little bit. Well, you get one of those little small ones. Yeah. This is what we've done. We've made the quick wash into a handheld. But you always say to me, you don't get your steam cleaner out every day. No. But you'll have your little handheld hand steam, steam cleaner. Yeah. Absolutely. So what you want, sometimes you want something that's going to do the job quickly for you. What we've got is the quick wash, but in mini form. We've got all the features of the quick wash. Right, we've got a chamber on the back here that has your solution in and water. Now, the joy of this is you can keep this in here permanently. Seriously? You don't have to empty it when you put it away. So it's always hot to trot. Fabulous. It's always going to be ready to go. What happens is that solution is brought out over the machine and it comes out at the front here. Underneath here, we have the brush, exactly the same brush that is on the quick wash, yeah. but we've also got suction. Right, so let's switch it on, shall we? So power on. Now, this is rechargeable. Okay. So it's always going to be ready and hot to chop for you. Stain down here. Spray the solution on there. And when you're happy with it, now ideally it'd be quite nice if you could leave the solution on there for a little while. Yeah. But we haven't got the time. So use the brush. But look at the dirt being brought up. Oh, I know, <laughs> I love it! <laughs> So, you know that spot stain that we had just a minute ago? Can you use it in your car? Of course you can. Can you use it on your sofa? Of course you can. Can you use it on your stairs? Of course you can. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. That is incredible. How good, how efficient is that? It's not soaking wet, but what you've got is the power of Bissell. Really? Not, can I just do this one? Yeah, go on then. Quickly, okay. quickly. We're going to do the stairs. We're running out of time. OK. Go Spray on, the solution on. There's just a little trigger underneath the handle here. Spray the solution and then let the power of the Bissell do the job for you. This little spot lifter 
is lifting those spots. Look at that. Over and over again, and you'll get them all off. One, two, six, treble five is your item number. But let's show you all the features of this incredible machine because it really does do what you want it to do. It's an emergency first aid for spills and stains on carpets. Bissell's handheld stain buster will take swift action to lift and remove tough marks and eliminate pet odours. Fill the tank with water and some little green formula fluid. Spray onto the stain, work in with the deluxe brush and then vacuum away. Spot lifter can be stored with the liquid inside so it's always ready fraction and the power for, it's powerful and cordless and will run for 15 minutes from a single charge and comes with almost uh, a quarter of a litre of little green formula. Right Sue so what are you doing? Okay well, the other thing that's absolutely brilliant about this is you can get into those places that really the bigger systems can't. Oh my god. So the kids going up the stairs taking their milk with them. Yeah their hot milk and spilling it. Okay could be the dog the dog's paw prints could yep. be muddy boots whatever. Again power on. Now I don't know if you can be able to see this. Watch the milk go up the front oh of the machine. Oh my gosh, look at that. So yeah. you're vacuuming it first. I haven't done, applied any cleaner or anything to it at the moment. That is literally picking up the liquid. Then apply the solution. There's a fine spray. You can just about see that yeah. coming out of there. And then use the power brush underneath to clean the carpet. And look, I'm still sucking up more milk off that stairs. But it could be marks on the carpet, could be paw prints, it could be anything. But this is going to get into those nooks and crannies and those places around the home. I love the fact that it does the stairs. Now, even if you've got a Bissell and you just thought, I just want to do the stairs, you've got a Bissell quick wash, this is going to do it for you. You can keep the formula in there. Now, it's... Just keep it on charge as well, because it's you, rechargeable. You, you can do your car, your caravan. Absolutely. Yes. Your sofas. Mattresses. Oh, what a good idea. Rugs. Maybe you don't want the big one because you've only got rugs around your home. Yeah. Great on your rugs. See, it is absolutely brilliant. One, two, six, treble five is your item number. Fantastic value for money. You cannot go wrong with it. It's lightweight, it's portable, it's a Bissell spot lifter. We needed an hour show for this alone. We did. Come actually. on, let's go and show you what you get. Come with us because we're going to whiz over here and show you what you get for your money because this is absolutely amazing. This is the spot lifter. Do oh, you know we don't what? Need that. <laughs> this again is a wonderful wet. Uh, uh, wedding gift. It's fantastic, isn't it? So you're going to get your formulas for you. What's so the little green formula then? That is a, like a concentrated version. Right. So you can just put that onto a really so tough stain. So it's a stain. really tough stain Absolutely. one. Absolutely. Then you've got your pet odour one. So if the cat, the dog has had an accident, put that one in there because the cat, the dog won't keep going back to the same place. Not only are you removing their odour, you're replacing it with something much nicer. And you get both those formulas you're with it. You're getting that as well. And you're getting your machine as well. It's 49 99 Can I just say how complicated it is? <laughs> right, that's the instruction book. Most of them are pictures. See, it's that easy <laughs> to use. Honestly, we love Bissell. You love Bissell. We love Sue because when you see I Sue, you. you know. I love you. I love you. I love you. Uh, do you know why? Because <laughs> she brings the best products in I the do. world, I reckon. I do. Listen, Dan's up next. We uh, Dan, Stan. What did I say, Dan? Lovely Stan's up Stan. next. Uh, Stan's up with, of course, our lovely uh, Andy, and they've got an amazing pick of the day. When are you back? Oh, hopefully tomorrow, but I'm mm. not sure now. Oh, well, Roomba's gone. We'll have to have a little word with them. Maybe. Anyway, whatever you do, make sure you stay tuned. I'll be back with you at 10 o'clock. Thank you, lovely lady. Whatever you do, make sure you stay tuned. Bye-bye.